Hey, YouTubers, how you doing? I decided to do a late Sunday night collective reading. I hope you guys are doing well. Let's see how the universe is doing, which you are the universe. Dear God, please bless the collective with any information that they're needing at this time. Thank you, God. How you doing? Y'all see that do a somersault, the eight of wands? This is quick communication. This is communication that you've been waiting on. It is happy communication, and I feel like a lot of you guys... It's going to be what you need to get you out of this shitty circumstance or shitty situation. And sorry, again, you guys comment below with a better word, a better adjective than shitty if you have issues with my swearing. Um, yeah, you got fast moving communication and uh, this is somebody, this is like I said, communication you've been waiting on or somebody's been waiting to talk to you. This almost even feels like they were waiting for you to be available or free. Um, this particular person, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, right? Wands. Um, they've been waiting for a while to, waiting for the perfect time to reach out to you. Ooh, the lovers. Now, I didn't know what kind of situation it was, but okay, universe, I guess it is. Lover, lovers. Um, this is in regards to, it could be job too, right? Because that perfect, you're the perfect person for the perfect position. So I'm trying to break my viewers out of the idea that lovers only means a person. It could also mean a situation too, um, like job or family or some sort of materialism or some sort of legal or court case. It could be anything. But yeah, you do have a, this is an opportunity. I'm going to be really real. This is a beautiful opportunity, especially with the sun card here. Not only that, but it's hitting you at the perfect time. Now I'm getting chills on my shoulders, my spine, my, my neck, the back of my neck and my ears, which is always weird when you're doing a reading, but, um, yeah. This is fast. It's almost like somebody's going to go above and beyond to do whatever it is that they have to do to secure you as in bring you over to their team, their side. Or if you're trying to leave a situation, this eight of wands and the lover's card feels like people are going to bend over backwards and do what they have to do to keep you from leaving that particular situation. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and include love, right? Um, this is somebody coming in. I feel like they're, how do you say have diarrhea of the mouth, which is basically they're letting you know how much they miss you, how much they, you know, want to work this out how much they want to talk to you, right? Like some, somebody's coming in with this fast and furious motion to let you know you're their person. And how do we work this out? How do we get back together? I miss you, Sean. Like, you know what I mean? Like, this as a lover's, the messages I'm getting for the lover's filter is just like, just please just tell me what I need to do to an extent, almost like this person is pleading with you, right? Now you got the page of wands and the two of wands. Y'all getting the wand theme here. So shout out to Aries, Leo and Sagittarius, um, especially in your sun, sun position and your rising position. So you got the three of wands, sorry, the page of wands with the two of wands. You got the three of wands. You got the three of wands twice and the three of wands placement. I'm looking to see if there are any other wands on the table. That appears to be it for now. So yeah, the first half of this reading looks like action, passion, movement. Like, yo, let's get this going. There is a high level of importance, urgency to whatever this situation is. So yeah, we're still in the Mercury retrograde, blah, 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 right? But for some reason, whenever this reading resonates with you, I'm not saying next week, next year, next month, whenever you click on the video and it resonates, there's going to be immediate action after you've watched this video. 
okay? For some of you guys, it could have already happened, but I feel like it, we're sitting right in this wand energy of, okay, I got to get this done. I got to keep, you know, Renee from leaving. I got to make sure that we secure James, you know, <clears throat> it just kind of feels like um, maybe within the next two to five days, again, from when you're watching this video, you're going to see incredibly quick movement, right? Now, here's the thing. You got the three of wands in this position twice, right? That represents mirroring kind of alignment, like whatever you looking at, I'm looking at the same thing. Whatever you want, I want the same thing. With the eight of swords here with the sun, y'all ain't on the same page, Right? I do kind of feel like maybe it's implied here, especially with the lover's card, choosing that equal and better half. I don't think y'all are on the same page. At one time you might've been, but this eight of swords says to me, baby, I ain't seen happiness in eight days, eight weeks, eight months. Okay. Not only that, but your urgency does not necessarily represent or convinces me of your changed behavior. So you can apologize all you want. You could tell me how much you love, you need, you want me back, or you keep, you want to keep me from leaving, but baby, I ain't convinced, right? And here's the thing, Wh whatever the reason is you're not convinced, whether it's because of you or because of that person, it doesn't even matter, right? I just kind of feel like they're rushing in to secure you, right? Doing whatever they have to do. But at the end of the day, you need to see receipts. You know what I mean? You need to see change behavior before committing to anything. I really do believe that's why this Eight of Swords is here with the Sun card. It's like, listen, Pam, I really want to help you out. I mean, I don't want to leave. I mean, I love working with you guys or babe. I don't want to walk away from this relationship. I want to take you back. I want to work this out. But right now, I ain't got no goddamn proof that you are any better than you were when we split up. That's, I feel like, a part of this Three of Wands here in the double position, but then also that Eight of Swords. It's like, listen, I'd love to work with you and help you out. You know, let's get on the same page. I thought that we were on the same page until we weren't. <laughs> Sorry, I had to pause. Eight of Swords in the Sun, yeah. You telling me, but I can't see it. Not only that, but angels just said to me, these all, all of those eight swords is this person's bad behavior. It's almost like this person's negative impression that they set inside of you. So it's like, Laura, I'm sorry, I, I can't because the only thing I have right now, the only thing I understand, the only thing I know is, is who you've been, the shitty shit bag you've been. All right, again, adjective, find me one. <laughs> Queen of Cups with the Five of Swords. Yeah. See what I'm saying? It, it, oh, I'm getting so many messages here. This Queen of Cups, you see how she's like in a meditative state? That kind of says to me, you know who you are. You know what's best for you. And baby, you're going to protect that um, peace of mind like y'all are uh, uh, army rangers, right? Or like the heightened military, like the president's, like the secret service. You are only interested in your peace of mind right now. What's best for you? Keeping your emotional state very healthy and very much intact. And again, that could go for work. It could go for relationships, right? It's like, listen, prove, pr prove me wrong. Prove to me that you've changed. Prove to me that what I think of you is no longer. Because at the end of the day, if you're still the same person, baby, I'm going to quit you even better this time than I did the first time. You got the five of swords in that position, which basically says whomever this is or whatever situation this is, I don't feel like this person is prepared to, to do right, to make good on their apology or whatever it is that they're telling you is going to be better and it's going to be great. This five of swords is like hollow victory, right? It's like, all right, you know what? It's, I'm going I'm to race you in the rain. You know what I mean? It's almost like you're, you're already at like a disadvantage, but you're, excuse me. It's almost like the, the conditions are not as perfect as they can be. And even on top of the conditions not being the greatest, 
you're still going to kind of quote unquote cheat or pull out prematurely. That sounds like something else. Sorry. Um, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's almost like you're going to go run it off with your tail between your legs. So whatever this situation is, uh, collective, th th think about yourself. Okay. Think about your mental health, your emotional health, your psychological health. Put yourself first, please. Now, do that within reason, right? I'm not saying that negatively and I'm not saying that selfishly. I'm saying that selflessly, as in, not selfless, as in you're thinking about them, but selfless, as in you're thinking about yourself, right? Maybe selfless is not the best word, but you guys know what I mean. As in put yourself first, self-care, right? Care for yourself first in this particular situation because I really do feel like whomever this is they're coming on hella strong and they're selling selling you this pipe dream oh everything is going to be great I also do believe that your intuition is also driving what you think and what you feel right as in yeah you know what that sounds great but your gut is like uh-uh don't do it girl or don't do it dude okay you got the five, yeah, five or so, yeah. Y'all ain't even, this situation is not even compatible. Sword, cup, sword, cup. Swords, y'all know what the three of, three of swords, what? Swords are designed to what? Kill your happiness and joy. Don't do it, right? Don't do it. Whatever it is, the advice, y'all get to do whatever you want to do. You got free will. This is just for entertainment purposes only. I, if I were you, I wouldn't give in to whatever this situation is. Or if you do kind of give them another chance, I would make them prove it. And I would take a long time before I'm convinced like, yo, yeah, that all sounds good. I'm open to it. Let's do what we have to do, but let's give it, you know, some time and don't tell them how much time, because all they're going to do is be going their best behavior during that time frame. So if you said, yeah, I need to see a, you know, a month of good behavior, they're going to be good for a month. So don't do that. Just be like, yeah, I need some time. I'll let you know. Okay. Um, and by the way, somebody who has integrity, who's just going to do right. They're not going to keep coming back to you. Talk about, did you see it yet? Are you finished? Do you know what you need to know? Right. That's somebody who is tired of putting up a front and they're like, listen, can I relax now? All right. So you got the ace of cups and seven of pentacles. Yeah. You're thinking about your happiness and joy. A lot of you guys are being incredibly protective like I said, of your emotional health, your love, your heart, your peace of mind, whatever it is that you want to call it. The seven of pentacles, you see there that he is just hovering over the little bitty piece of plant that is grown. But look at everything on the bottom that he doesn't know what's kind of going on behind the scenes. The only thing he can concentrate and focus on is what he sees. So please understand, I do kind of feel like you are doing your part, but I also kind of feel like there's more stuff behind the scenes that you don't know about yet. Again, ugh, not going to repeat myself, but there is stuff going on behind the scenes that is trying to help you like the universe. I always heard this saying, and TD Jakes, uh, was the first one who, um, made me aware of it. He was just like, why are you trying to hold on to something that God has been trying to get rid of or, or get out of your life? And I really do feel like that applies here. If you have walked away from something or somebody, we trust, I trust that you were of sound mind and body when you did it. So why would you betray yourself and go back to what you just left? Just a question, something to meditate on maybe, right? And the seven of pentacles is just screaming at me. Seven of pentacles is, are you only looking at what they're telling you, what they're presenting to you? There is stuff going on behind the scenes that you don't know about, that you need to be aware of. But unfortunately, the only time you're going to be aware of is when that thing breaks ground and starts to grow um, and gets taller. And, you know, basically time goes on. OK, um, the signs we have Gemini. Leo. And we got cancer here with the Queen of Wands, Gemini, Leo and cancer. Ooh, that is what air fire and ooh, water who weed that's steam right? <laughs> air fire and water that's steam that's mist 
That's stickiness. Hoo-wee. <laughs> Why am I shuffling these cards? I'm not reading those. Okay. So let's see what Moonology has for you, collective babies. And, and I need to be clear about something, right? I feel like from a relationship standpoint, this only applies to those of you who have somebody coming back wanting to give it another chance. Let me be very clear about that. As in, excuse me, this is somebody you've walked away from who's coming back, who's coming back now, selling you this pipe dream that they've changed, the time apart has taught them, and now they want to get back together. Let me also put the disclaimer out there that some of them have actually changed. This looks like it's for those who are still going to run. Once they get what they want from you, they're going to run with their tail between the legs, their tail between the legs. If you open up emotionally and they come, you know, emotionally to them, yeah, Brian, I'll take you back. You don't see what's beneath the, beneath the, the core and beneath the surface, right? So just kind of be careful about that. And yeah, we're in Mercury retrograde and Mercury retrograde brings back people from your past, exes, exes, um, employers, employees, so on and so forth. But, you know, let's kind of look at why we got rid of them in the first place, because that shit may still apply. A new start is coming. Sorry. Our us readers, our cards always flip over and we're always kind of looking into them like, all right, is anybody flipped over in here? The end of a tough cycle approaches. Yeah, this could be a situation that you've been in for a while and you knew you didn't need to be in this situation, but you toughened it out and I'm not knocking you for that in no way, shape or form. But I do feel like this entry, by the way, the way in which this person comes back fast in is also represent a representative of how exactly they're going to leave fast out. You and your loved ones are safe. Yeah. So that kind of says to me, uh, you know what? I just heard that you can't really make a wrong decision here. I mean, you can make a stupid one, but you can't make a wrong decision here. Right? So if you accept them back and watch them, cool. If you don't accept them back, um, cool. Right. Um, If you accept them back and watch them cool, if you don't accept them back, that's also okay too. All right. So they were saying, yeah, either one of those decisions is fine. Look at that. Don't let your past hold you back. Boy, I'm telling you, God is in the moonology cards. That's what I'm, you know what? I need to start, I need to start putting them things like in next to some holy water or something. Cause he sure does be speaking through them cards. Thank you, God. All right. This situation will improve. This says to me, things will be revealed. Once you see the bullet you've dodged, for those who the person has not changed, I feel like the truth is about to be revealed to you soon. You're about to see the bullet you're about to dodge. Communicate clearly, as always. And it's up to you, baby. This person has no power. It's all up to you. Meditation brings answer answers don't be as impulsively as they're being think about it because this is real if you're worried if you're stressed if you're doubtful if you're like overthinking it if you're if you're anything else but comfortable that's not a good thing right that means something is present so just give it some time wait this person out the truth is going to be revealed shortly Okay, baby cakes, I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. I hope you guys enjoy the Sunday collective reading. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys during a week. I love you collective. Bye.